And one of the important aspects of 12 Claremont is um, the inclusion of, people, of the neurodiverse. Um, so our partner to make that happen is Project Artworks, who already work with families, um, <coughs> whose members, are, some of whom are neurodiverse. Uh, but they do that now in their sanctuary site under the railway arches where it's all very nice and safe but people don't come into contact other than Project Artworks people um, who are neurotypical and they've always wanted to have the ambition to be in the town centre uh, to begin that experience of uh, integration for people to understand what their needs are, not to be afraid of them, not to feel awkward uh, around people with neurodiverse but also to provide uh, in a more accessible area um, a support venue uh, for those households. Uh, so that's the plans for the, the ground and the basement, is to make that self-sustaining through a gallery. Um, <clears throat> so that is supported to some extent by charitable activity. The evidence of it in the window at the moment. Um, <clears throat> on Independence Day, a big band coming through at this point we're doing that last time. Um, but the opportunity here is to make it uh, integrate that with the wider creative uh, community to anchor them in this area, um, kind of capitalise on its edginess, if you like, that, if that isn't lost through gentrification. So to have live work units for artists in here, have studios on the top floor, look at those windows there, um, and there's roof light up there as well. So it's, it's, it has that historic use to be used by creative artists. Let's continue that heritage. Uh, but as the, there's a long heritage in this building, the YMCA gravings there you can see on the windows. Um, so it's homes, it's incubation space, uh, but it's all connected by um, creative creativity. And the obligation then is that people contribute. So what we hope to build through the Heritage Action Zone is a cultural programme of activity in this area that doesn't just do the odd thing on the back of coastal currents, but has its own kind of theme. Uh, and they all contribute to that, and that sustains it after the programme, because that's how it works. <laughs> Brilliant, thank you, James. Hey.